boy Big Trill back with another video game pickup video. Uh, don't have a lot, kind of a dry week, a um, couple weeks. It's uh, hard to find games now. People are just grabbing them up like they, they're just, just killing the game. So uh, I did get a couple of some stuff though, and I'll show you what I got. Uh, for buck fifty, mainly for my niece and nephew because they don't have any games to play when they come over here. I'll, really, we play. It's complete, but it's just for them to play. This game goes for nothing, but, you know, for them to play, it's cool. Um, also grab this from uh, Goodwill for a buck. It is, what is that? Destroy All Humans, Big Willie <laughs> Unleashed. Uh, got it for a buck for them, to, for them to play. Very clean copy, you know, no case, but for them to play, you know, what is it? Um, something else I got from the Goodwill, and this is actually pricey game. I picked it up for $2.99 and it goes for about $25 to $30. Bucks complete. It's a very clean copy without the manual. And that is Godzilla Unleashed. Um, fun game too, man. Fun game. But it does not have a manual, but clean as a whistle. I might keep it. I might flip it on eBay, but this is a good game. And I didn't know it. I saw it sitting on the shelf and I'm like, hmm. Let's see what it is. Alright, right back in. At that same Goodwill, I picked up um, this for $2.99, and it is a super clean copy. Worth about $10. Bucks. That is Kingdom Hearts 2 for the PS Deuce. Uh, clean as a whistle. I mean, this game is like brand new. I mean, it's. I never played it, but I had to pick it up. And I might flip it, I might keep it, I don't know. But $3, bucks, super clean. You cannot beat that. All right, let's get into it. Um, so I went to a yard sale the other day and uh, missed out on the N64. Guy sold the N64 and Mario World or Mario Kart, one or the other. Sold the whole thing with like three controllers, aftermarket controllers, in a box for one dollar. Whole thing. What box? My luck. Couldn't have got it. I even I even knew the guy that was getting it, but kudos to him. So yeah, but I did pick up some stuff. Um, picked up this N64 controller for a dollar. Super, super, super tight stick. Uh, it is the Nintendo brand. Um, probably got a couple, but you really can't go wrong with the controller. It's very clean, very clean. Uh, we got that for a buck. Um, I got this for a buck. Um, a couple DVDs. I got Young Frankenstein. It's a classic comedy. You know, not worth a lot of money, but I liked it. Had to pick it up. Uh, what else I got here? Oh, I got this Game Boy Advance game um, for a buck. I think it goes for like 10 bucks on eBay. And it's in the box. It's Scooby Dooby Doo! The movie. Okay, Shaggy. I can't do impressions. Fuck it. Okay. So, yeah, it needs the manual, but it's got the poster and stuff. But, yeah, for a buck, can't turn it down. You know. What else we get? Oh, and this is pretty awesome from the same yard sale. I picked this up. Love the movie. Love the movie. Didn't know the DVD was out of print. Trilogy of Terror, very good movie. It's got Karen right. Black from No Difficulty. Sorry about that. I phoned around to storage and I had to leak the bin or some shit. Anyways, back at it. Like I said, buck pickup, very good movie. Worth about 25, 30 bucks. Probably keep it. It's awesome for a dollar. Can't beat it. Bow in your face, cracker. All right, a couple cartridge games to finish it off with. Um, let's see, Road Rash. 64 five bucks they wanted six bucks for it got it for five it's about a 25 dollar game it's a fun game too i'll probably flip this on ebay because it's not one i mean i'm not you know it's not something i'm collecting but it's pretty awesome five bucks can't be oh, i forgot something too uh before i get to that uh forgot this i paid a buck each for these um game boy events games at a pawn shop driver two and Wolfenstein 3D. This is not worth much at all. This Wolfenstein is about $10 to $15. And I might keep this because it's pretty classic. And I've seen gameplay on it and it looks pretty great like the original. So yeah. Buck in your face. Can't beat it. It's awesome. Uh, and last but certainly, certainly not least. Um, had some trade credit at the Red Escape. Um, and I bought stuff that day at a thrift store. It cost me about six bucks. And I turned around and traded it, and I got enough money to get this Resident Evil 2 for the N64. A huge fan, probably my favorite series of all time. 
Um, had to have it. Been wanting it. Um, I do want to get it boxed eventually because I, I love collecting the Resident Evil stuff. And I may do a Resident Evil collection video. But uh, it's not in the great, greatest shape. The label's kind of messed up and the back is a little bit torn. But I paid six bucks for it technically. So can't beat it. And uh, I haven't even played it on this system. I think I will give it a go. I love the game. Love it. So yeah, um, that's it. Uh, so yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate it. I'm going to try to do more of these, but uh, it's hard to find these games, man. I mean, uh, for a good price, people eat them up. I mean, uh, retro games especially, are <laughs> they're hard to find. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate it. I love you. And, oh, boy.